Hi, I'm Dia. And I'm Andrew. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School's Team Press, and we're here with... Uh, Aaron Yeager. I directed a People Uncounted uh, feature-length documentary in the Social Justice Program. So tell us about your film. The film is about the genocide of the Roma people during the Holocaust, and then it connects that with their present-day struggle for civil rights in Europe right now. What were some of the challenges in making your film? Well, um, you like me to? Well, this week, uh, challenges. Well, we had a lot of countries to cover, and it was a very in-depth story. I mean, there were a lot of aspects to it that we wanted to cover. So I guess the biggest challenge was how much we can fit into one movie. And there was myself and three producers and you know of course an editing staff and a lot of other people who worked on the film and it was a big challenge for all of us for a very long time to figure out where to sort of stop because we knew we wanted to talk about what happened during the second world war and we wanted to at least touch on what's going on right now but there's a lot of elements of history that are relevant to the story and it's a an issue that happens in almost every country and we couldn't go everywhere although we did end up going to 11 different countries to film but we probably could have gone to 20 countries if we had the time and money to do so. So what inspired you to make this film? Uh, well it was not my idea originally it, w it started with the executive producer Lenny Binder and one of the producers Tom Rasky and the composer for the film Robbie Botosh. Robbie Botosh is, uh, is Roma himself. He came to Canada as a refugee from Hungary more than 10 years ago and he's become a very prominent jazz musician and composer in Canada. And it, it came out of a conversation between the three of them where they decided to make a movie on this story because they had all lost family during the Holocaust, but the story of the Roma experience is not very widely known, so they decided to make a film. And then myself, the other producer, Mark Swanker, and the director of photography, Stephen Whitehead, the three of us had been working on a completely different documentary at the time, but um, we came together with them and made this movie. Are you going to finish that documentary that you were working on? Uh, eventually, yes. <laughs> It's a documentary about uh, the early roots of rock and roll oh, awesome. and the influence that rock and roll had on shaping all of modern popular culture from 1950s to the present and it's called Chasing the King and it's largely about Chuck Berry as an unsung hero of of uh, creating rock and roll music and a lot of pop culture trends that followed, like uh, the power of, this is probably relevant to you, the, teena the teenager in popular culture. Uh, but that, uh, that's sort of something that started a long time ago and uh, we put that on hold for a while to make this movie. Um, why did you decide to do a documentary instead of a narrative film? Uh, for this particular story, we thought it was important to do justice to the story, to tell it from the perspective of uh, the Roma themselves, from scholars, from activists, from survivors of the genocide, and we couldn't really get that first person perspective of the people who are truly the knowledge base on the subject without doing it in a documentary style. Which is not to say that a great movie couldn't be made doing a dramatization of this. I'm sure it could be, like an equivalent of, let's say, Schindler's List, but for the Roma. And I hope that one day someone, you know, can put together that movie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.